The Vought F-8 Crusader was a supersonic, carrier-based air superiority jet. It served in both the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Marine Corps. It was the last American fighter using guns as primary weapon, and became known as the last of the gunfighters. In September 1952, the U.S. Navy issued a requirement for a new fighter capable of a max speed of Mach 1.2. It was also required to have a climb rate of 25,000 feet per minute, and a landing speed of maximum 100 miles per hour. It was to be armed with a 20mm cannon. In response, Vought created the high-winged V-383. The aircraft, designated the F-8U-1, was powered by a single Pratt & Whitney J-57 turbojet, equipped with an afterburner. The Crusader had an incidence wing design, which meant that it did not take off and land with the nose extremely up. This also allowed a greater angle of attack, while maintaining good visibility. The armament was four 20mm autocannons, and 32 unguided Mark IV or Mark 40 folding fin aerial rockets, and it also had pylons for carrying two AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles. The first prototype made its first flight March 25, 1955, and the development was trouble-free. The second prototype flew for the first time September 30th the same year, the same day that the first production aircraft made its first flight. The F-8U-1 entered service in April 1957. In 1962, the F-8U was redesignated the F-8, and the F-8U-1 became the F-8A. The Crusader operated as a day fighter, and was the first post-Korean War aircraft that served for a relatively long time in the U.S. Navy. The reconnaissance version RF-8A was very suitable for low-altitude reconnaissance. During the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962, RF-8A Crusaders were used for low-level photo missions over Cuba. The photographs taken by the Crusaders confirmed Soviet missile presence. During the Vietnam War, U.S. Navy Crusaders were the first jets in combat with Vietnamese MiG-17s. F-8 Crusaders were involved in many dogfights during the war, and it was also used by both the Navy and the Marine Corps to bomb communist forces in both North and South Vietnam. Marine Corps Crusaders were also used for close air support missions. Although the Crusader was nicknamed the last gunfighter, most of its air-to-air -air victories were achieved using Sidewinder missiles. In fact, the Crusader had the best kill ratio of any American aircraft type of the war. 170 Crusaders were lost in the Vietnam War, most of them to ground fire and accidents. The Crusader retired as a fighter from the U.S. Navy in 1976, but the reconnaissance version served on until 1987. Crusaders also served with the French Navy and the Philippine Air Force. A total of 1,219 Crusaders were produced. <laughs>